Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. Here at Switch and Lever, we, meaning me, recently acquired a 3D printer. Over the last few years there's been a surge of new 3D printers being released for the hobby and maker market, largely triggered by patent expiration dates. While a professional 3D printer easily can cost an arm and a leg, and on top of that a year's salary, these simpler printers are surprisingly well priced. There are many brands, probably the best known being MakerBot, which is now developed into very much of a space-age looking plug-and-play printer. There are many other ones, which require more or less hands-on operation from the user. In this video and coming videos, I'm exploring a printer which may very well be at the bottom of the cost bracket, but at the top of the tinkering bracket, the Velomen K8200. It's based on RepRap technology, which is essentially an open framework printer. It comes as a kit which is then assembled by the user. In this video we're doing the unboxing and going through the pieces included in the package. It is a very heavy package to begin with, carrying it home from the store made me wish I had bought at least a big backpack to distribute the weight better. However, that may very well be an indicator of better quality parts, as weight and rigidity may follow each other. The box comes very well stocked and all parts feels to be packaged well, with concern to the more fragile parts being more protected. While carrying it I couldn't feel anything moving around in the box either, even though I severely violated the this side up sticker. This is obviously a plus for preventing shipping damages as well. It starts off a bit disappointing though with a quick start guide. I'm still the kind of person who appreciates a good printed manual. The quick start guide more or less only directs you to a website where the instructions are. Although looking at the site and the PDF manual, I can somewhat understand why it did not come printed as it's 527 pages long. Even though this is a very rudimentary kit, to the point of measuring and cutting your own wires, soldering connections and even filing the odd piece, it appears very well planned out. All parts come in their own small bags which are numbered to correspond to the steps outlined in the manual. Since it does appear that all parts are in the box, we can now move on to the construction, which is coming up in the next video. Stay tuned and subscribe! Thanks for watching!